Hi everybody, Theo here. Sorry I'm a little under the weather. I look like crap, but that's okay. That's the beauty of this series. It's life, it's real, it's raw. It's not airbrushed, it's not sugar coated. It's just, which see is what you're gonna get. All right, so we are going into the fourth episode, I guess you could say, of the affirmations and declarations to get us through the week. And this week, I have a pretty darn good one for us all. So, plat out. Today's affirmation slash declaration is, greatness is a lonely road. Whew. <clears throat> this is a powerful one. A really, really, really powerful one. And I was so honored to put this in my book because uh, I went to Eagle Academy for Young Men when I was in high school. And my freshman year, uh, we had a guest speaker and he said this quote. He said, greatness is a lonely road. And I was like 15, 14 or 15. And it was just like, it just hit me like, bam. I was like, why does that resonate with me so well? Like, why do I, un like, why did that hit me so hard? Why, why is, oh, do you like my McLovin Mc shirt? <laughs> but yeah, but it's just like, why, why is this hitting me so hard? And then it made me realize greatness is a lonely road because greatness requires a lot. Greatness requires dedication, sacrifice, discipline, growth, elevation, evolution. It just requires so much of you as a person. And if you are destined for greatness, which we all are, but if you decide to pursue your greatness and go on that journey and go on that road there are going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to stop you're going to have to moderate you're going to have to make some adjustments to because anyone that ever became truly great anyone who truly excelled they had to make adjustments they had to make sacrifices look at their changes to their diet um, changes to their social circle who they hang around changes to how they spend their money you know just because i have a bunch you know not me but i'm just saying like the goal is to become wealthy and to have you know a lot of money to spend but just because you have the money to spend doesn't mean you just spend it because then what about when a rainy day comes now you're broke but to get back to the core gist of greatness is a lonely road it is more for the person who is pursuing that greatness. You have to understand that this is your journey and your journey alone. This is your walk and your walk alone. So sometimes you're gonna have to take that walk by yourself. Why? Because again, I'm putting myself in this situation. I'm a professional wrestler. I have to make sacrifices of my family's having an event. It could be a birthday. It could be a graduation. It could be something very important. And I'm like, well, I'm so sorry. I have a booking this weekend. And this is my career. I'm trying to get on TV. I'm trying to get that contract. So for me, my greatness may be lonely at times because my family may all be together for a family reunion. But I'm like... I'm in a whole other state taking a book because it's what I have to do. Um, a lot of us, we like smoking, we like drinking, we like partying. But hey, if I'm like, hey, I'm a professional wrestler, you know, I got this. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm trying to look better. I want to look like a star. I'm like, hey, guys, you know, I'm going to have to press pause on that for a little bit. And then my friend, I'm like, hey, well, hey, well, more for us. So it's going to be lonely for you because I'm going to have to make certain sacrifices that you're not going to have to because I'm going towards something. I'm on a path that you're not on with me. So when it comes to that and when it comes to kind of having to separate yourself from certain things and certain people, always remember that it's okay. Remember that it's okay. Don't freak out. Don't lose. Just remember it's okay. It is a part of the journey. It is a part of wherever you're going 
when you look back years from now, once you've attained that success, once you've crossed that off your list, you look back and you say, yeah, I had to separate from a lot of these things, from a lot of these people, because they could have maybe brought me down or they were not conducive to enhancing and, and, and pushing me towards where I wanted to go. So I'm going to end it there. And once again, just continue to always reinforce you guys to always be encouraged. Always, always, always remember that you are your best asset. You are your best friend and you are your best cheerleader. Okay. When you're, you know, up late at night thinking of creative ideas, working out in the gym, uh, cutting carbs, cutting calories, what, whatever you're doing to try to make adjustments so that you can be greater, always remember that it's going to pay off. It's always going to pay off. And most importantly, always, always, always know that you did what it took to get there and nobody else. I'll see you guys next week. I hope this really resonated with you guys. I hope you guys can relate to it. I hope that there's someone in your life that you know that this applies to. And maybe this may help them feel a little bit better about their lives, about their situations. So I'll see you guys next week. I love you and take care. Have a great week. Let's kill it.